You Scott? Yes. How are you? Good, cool. You're expecting me, yes? Yes, yes. Come okay. on in. Thank you. I'm just gonna we have our little red carpet. Oh, cool. Thank you. So I'm Mike and Dove is behind me. Yes. How are you? We're here to fix your heat. Okay. When did it stop working? Uh, we just came back from vacation and I, for some reason it was on Echo. I don't remember turning it on Echo. Oh, and then on Echo? Yeah. And then we. Oh, the economy on the thing. On the Nest. Although the, the downstairs one wasn't. So we have two units. You mean two zones? Yeah, two zones. So the upstairs zone was on economy. And it froze, I'm guessing. I'm, I don't know. How long are you gone? You're gone for your Shiba week? Or? Yeah, pretty Okay, sure. so you were gone. When did you leave? Wednesday. So Wednesday today. before? For past Wednesday, yeah. Oh, so you were gone for the freeze? I guess, yeah. Okay. Everything in the house works, plumbing wise? Yeah. Like, things, things? yeah. Okay. But no heat on where? The whole floor? Upstairs and down. Okay. All right, so. That's okay. A good technician, though, yes. is observant of his surroundings. Okay. We could be observant both visually and audibly. Right now, we hear a yum, 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 yum. And it's gonna be that one right there, which if you had a, a, a thermal imaging camera, you'll burn your hand with that thing yeah, right there. So, that's the sound of insufficient water. So, we have, I know you're fairly new to heating, but this is called a pressure reducing valve. This is the valve that takes domestic pressure that's in the house and reduces it down to boiler pressure, which is usually 12 PSI. This boiler feed valve here is open. Oh, ooh, it's feeding. Dum, 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 dum. Oh man, that's not good. Where's all the water going? Okay, where's the boiler switch? Turn that off. Right above you. No, the switch. That switch. Okay, now listen. Here is that. It's cold water, right? Listen. It's feeding. <sighs> this sucks. What we do. So I'm going to tell you what we're going to do, right? We have a zone in the basement. We're going to close that. Close that valve right there. This one? Yep. Let's pray. No, it's still mm. feeding. Oh, man. Let's see if we can add pressure to this boiler. This sucks. We... We are losing water here. There's that pressure gauge, right? Let's just close this. Let's see what happens. We have to wait for it for a little bit, but we are losing water. So, let's close this one. Let's close this one. Okay, so now the boiler is completely isolated. Let's mm -hmm. add pressure to the boiler. No, the outside is inches, each feet, right? The inside is PSI. All right, let's add, let's go to 20. You notice we're quiet now, right? So let's see, I just closed this one, right? Let's open up that this one? one. Yep, open up that one. All right, let's wait and see what happens. Our pressure just dropped considerably. All right, let's force feed more water into it. We have a burst, busted pipe somewhere in this house and I bet you it's in the slab. We have to walk around the house and see if anything leaking. All right, let's close that, uh, close that valve. Okay, let's fill this back up. I just wanna give it some good pressure. Okay, let's open up the one on the right now. Okay, we dropped. Mm. I highly doubt both zones are, are shot or broken, but it's possible. <laughs> All 
All right. I think we played long enough with this. All right, we've been here for a hot minute so far. We added a valve here and there. I got everything closed except our supply, one right there, which goes, you think the first floor, and we're holding at 20 PSI. So this is a supply split zone. Here is a return, which goes into the slab, right? Just because it goes into the slab doesn't mean it's not going to the second floor. Let's see. You know what we could do? Uh, should we purge? Let's see what happens. Actually, I want to purge. Right, so we're hooking up a wash machine hose to this purge station because I want to see if we open up this valve, right? If we have a pressure drop here, then we know that this, right, is somehow connected to this. So he's going to make sure that doesn't go walk, walk, go crazy. Okay. So that valve is fully open. And just because nothing's happening yet doesn't mean we're not going to have anything. Because sometimes it'll take a little hot minute for to do anything. Mm -hmm. But we have almost 25 PSI. Let's raise this up. I want to go to 30. We're a little bit closer to 30. I don't want to pop the 30 PSI Let's relief valve. But, yeah, there were a 28 right there. But it's, if you can get it into the water. I see you can hear the... Nothing's the happening there. So, this one... We'll close that. Now, let's open up. Yep, I'm gonna switch to the other side. Now, this one here is a split return, as you can see right there. So just like this is a split supply, that's a split return. Now, you'd think that this pipe here, painted white, mm -hmm. is associated to this one there. We're gonna find that in a hot minute. Okay, you ready? Yes. I'm gonna open up this valve. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe not. <clears throat> oh, you didn't open this. No. No. Yeah, that's it, baby. So, I know right now for a fact, we'll be able to give him heat at least partially on that zone, that split. We're gonna purge this out. You notice, our pressure now is finally starting to drop. We're getting a tremendous amount of air there. We're going to open up this to manually feed water back into that zone. We want to get all the air out of there. And that's where the hammering is coming from upstairs? Well, we're not worried about hammering right now. We're no, worried no, about the water loss. Was it? No, air. This is, this is, no, listen, so the, the system was, completely, yeah. was continuously feeding. You had a, we have a, a break somewhere in the, in the line. So, But by doing that, we'll be able to restore some heat to this system. Get all that air out. Like, see how our pressure went all the way down. We're still feeding it. So that's this line here connected to that. This is all closed. This is closed. So no water is going up on from the return side. Only water is leaving here and coming back here. So we know that that is intact. The next test is going to be here and here. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks Sounds like all of our air is yeah. gone. Let's close this, but let's wait for it to refill back up. We want to go back up to high pressure. We want to be in that 20 PSI range for purge minimum. You want to use that water pressure to purge out all mm -hmm. the air out of this. And it's taking some time. It would be easier if I had my hose here hooked up from the bottom of the water here with a check valve of course hooked up to here and we could force more water into the system that's another way of bypassing this pressure reducing valve by b and g that's you know it's it's doing it's what it can to replenish water well you, you can dump that out yeah now, hold on hold on nope. <laughs> yeah i cracked that so it's, to get the water out of there so, yeah Okay, so you dump that bucket. Yeah. Compliments to Jasco Plumbing and That's Heating right. Supply no in, uh, in near Yonkers. Thank you. Shout out to Jasco for sending us that bucket. We didn't get any calendars with women on it this year, but you know I'm sure I'll get one soon. <laughs>
All right, I want to bring that pressure up a little bit higher. Manually feeding on the pressure reducing valve. Let's get up to about 25 if we can, and let's make sure all the air is out of that zone. Then we're going to isolate that because we don't want to disturb that again. Okay, so that's there like that. Hold the hose. Yep. Okay, take it into the water if yeah, you can. Air, air. You can see the air bubbles. It looks like we're pretty good there. That's good, perfect. We're gonna close that. We're gonna close this in a hot minute. Close no, not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, we're at 20 PSI. Let's close that and let's close this. All right, and let's close that. So now our boiler pressure, we're at a little 28 PSI. Hmm. Now we're gonna do the same, leave the hose there. Now we're gonna take this one and here comes the test. Look at that, down. Not 25, you're at 10. You keep looking at the wrong I one. I keep looking at the wrong one. Yeah. You know, Gone. shame on, shame on shame. You, know, you the first time, shame on me the second time, yeah. shame on both of us the third yeah. time, you know. Teach a person to fish. Yeah. Feed him for life. I'm giving you the tools. All right, we're waiting to see if that increases. That valve is fully open. Now we're at 20. That would be kind of funny if it actually works and it's, it's intact. Um, but because of maybe the amount of water and air in the system, maybe we're throwing us off, but at least we can fully isolate it. And at least we know it's we're piped in correctly. Okay, we're 28. Let's close that. Okay. Now, this was the one we did before with this one. Now, this one is open, the one in the rear. Let's do this one. That's closed. Good. Okay. And now we're going to open up this. Yep, and we're getting, oh yeah. There you go, baby. Pop this back open. And we're gonna do the same thing on this zone. The other one. Maintaining as much pressure as we can. And it should stay intact because we got up to 28 PSI. So I believe our second floor upstairs is good. All right, we have, okay. I don't know who they are, the carrier, but this is on, open. We're gonna open up this back here. That was the pressure that was higher in there and you can see we're a little under 20 psi all right and we're going to close this valve to the low water cutoff there so that should be closed and flip the switch on and that noise that we're hearing right now is that circulator for the second floor that top floor which was burning hot before wasn't getting any water moving through it it's cooled off significantly now yeah. Just one, please. Thank you. Okay. We don't want to make a mess here. So now our pressure, a little under 20 PSI. We're ice cold. We're <laughs> pegged on the bottom of the temperature scale here. Uh, looks like we've been here before. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Temperature, 180. Economy, we're going to put that right in the middle on the CGA, well, McLean, CGA four. Uh, yeah, no, CGA five, 140,000 BTU. It's running and we're gonna let that top floor heat up. Our problem is the ground floor, which is this zone and this zone, which is isolated and the thermostat is in the off position. All, All right, so we are at, wow, 170, wow. 150 degrees, a little over 150 there, our boiler, 154 on the Whale McLean, uh, 1135, 605 boiler control. The only thing we did here is we isolated the split supply for the first floor. And maybe I was a little too premature installing two valves, but at least I didn't waste two, three hours putzing around, filling, purging, blah, 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 blah. I was able to isolate the split return. I had two valves on a supply, split supply. I had two valves on my split return and we put the thermostat to the off position for the ground floor. This is closed, that's closed, this is on, that's on. This is toasty, that is toasty. Of course, this will be toasty, ah, damn it. And that one. Yes. And that is how you get it done. <laughs>